May I help you, Inquisitor? A spirit on the island held the memories and possessions of Emeridan's lover, a woman named Talana. It told us that Emeridan was here on orders from Emperor Draken himself, and where he went next. On Drosti's dimples. I may have received tenure from that sentence alone. Emeridan had a lover. Talana, you said. The Inquisitor's Lady Mage. There was such debate over whether she existed. And there were orders? This was a request from Draken? This changes everything. When I helped the Avar at Stone Bear Hold, we learned that the Jaws of Hakon once bound their god's soul to a beast. According to the spirits, the dragon Emeridan faced was powerful and accompanied by hostile Avar. You believe they could be one and the same? That would mean... Of course! Of course! Brilliant! 800 years ago, the Second Blight threatened a weak Orle. A perfect time for the Avar to attack. This Avar God Dragon could have endangered the Olesian Empire had Emeridan not stopped it. That explains why he would accept such a dangerous mission. And likely how he died. History forgot about an attack by a giant magic dragon. If you want something done right, the spirit said to follow the river to the north, and something about spires or spikes. Hmm. Up the river, um... The scouts have had trouble with Hakonites up there. I'll continue my research, but for now, your guess is as good as mine. What do you need me to do next, Professor? That spirit on the island said something about a Meriden going upriver to... Welcome. So long as their weapons stay sheathed. So, Sigrid Goldsdotten will come out of exile to join your Inquisition. Do you object? It would be good for Sigrid to see what lies beyond the hold. Under the Inquisition's protection, the Lowlands treat mages differently from the Avar. I found all the Veil fire rooms around the village. What did you take as the purpose of the tale? 
It was about your gods returning, but in different forms. One of our oldest stories. Taught to us as children by the scolds. Mountains crack, forests burn. The gods change and die. Hakon's followers want him alive as he was. They will not let him die and return as he should. The blood magic was to hide the jaws of Hakon's deed from other gods. They have powerful magic. Why are the jaws of Hakon afraid of other spirits? The jaws of Hakon turn their backs on all other gods that ever helped their hold. It is not fear that drives them. They hide their deeds from shame. I should be off. Farewell. Thank you.